We're now into chapter 20, the Rococo. It's an 18th century style, primarily French, uh, and the time period was known as the Age of Enlightenment. Uh, the term Rococo comes from two French words, Roquea and Coquilla. Roquea is rock and Coquilla is shell, and rocks and shells were used as decorative things architecturally in gardens and so on. There's a term that I'd like for you to know from this particular uh, time period of Rococo, and it is Fete Galant, F-E-T-E-S hyphen G-A-L-A-N-T-E-S, Fete Galant. Fete Galants were these frivolous parties, often outdoors, though not always. Um, and this particular painting, I'm only showing two images from this time period, happens to be one that um, I'm not completely in love with, but I appreciate it nonetheless in the context of the flow of art history. This painting was by the French artist of Watteau, W-A-T-T-E-A-U, and it happens to be in your textbook on page 368. It was painted in 1717, and the title of it is The Pilgrimage to Cythera. Um, Cythera was the, the island of Venus, and when we take a look at this, it's pretty hard to tell if the, uh, if the tourists, as it were, are arriving or departing this particular island of Venus. There is a statue here dedicated to Venus is uh, sort of subtly at work here. Um, Rococo, uh, with these fete galants, I think commonly is mixed up uh, with students for romanticism because they kind of have a Valentine sort of feeling to them. The palette has all these sort of cheerful colors of pinks and, and uh, warm greens and so on. But they're a very different, distinct thing. Romanticism, we were going to see, we're going to see very soon is a very different imagery altogether. So this painting, Pilgrimage to Cythera, again, is on page 368, and more importantly, on a wall at the Louvre in Paris. The only other painting that we're going to uh, take a look at in this Rococo time period, and this uh, is painted by Fragonard, F-R-A-G-O-N-A-R-D, probably the Dush and Fragonard, and it is titled The Swing. It was painted a bit later than the Pilgrimage to Cicero in 1766. It's in your book on page 369. Now, there's more than meets the eye here, perhaps, at first, and I will just point out a few things here. Again, I think everything I said in terms of the frivolous nature of this is at work here and certainly at play. We have this very fancy um, aristocrat, uh, in this beautiful gown and hat and all that. And if you'll notice, uh, there's a young man down here who is uh, looking up her skirt, um, sort of a Title IX situation, and notice that she's lost her, her slipper, her shoe, her fancy shoe is uh, sliding up there. And this has been uh, written about and talked about because it is uh, thought to be a, a, a sexual symbol uh, both for the male and female part between the, the shoe and the, and the foot. And then what's pulling the swing back and forth is this a little um, preacher man here in the background. Kind of a creepy thing, um, nonetheless. But it's a fanciful picture that, you know, it's a lot to see and enjoy about this one. It's kind of playful. Um, that's it. Done.